Hello and welcome to the latest episode in the sit down with Team HFA. My name is Cam and I'm the chair of the Herefordshire FA Youth Council. My name is Dan and I'm the vice chairman of the Herefordshire FA Youth Council. And I'm Diane Phillips and I'm the football services officer for discipline at the HFA. Nice easy question Diane to start off with. Um, what is your favourite film? Okay, well, I've thought long and hard about this. I don't actually have a favourite film, but I like watching James Bond, um, especially the ones with Daniel Craig, um, <laughs> and also the Home Alone ones. I thought they were great with, with Macaulay Culkin, um, obviously always ahead of the adults, which was great. Uh, now, here comes the serious questions. Um, question one, why did you become the Football Services Officer for Discipline at Herefordshire FA? OK, well, I started with the HFA around eight years ago and the opportunity arose for me to take this role on um, probably about four or five years ago. Um, so when it came, I couldn't refuse because my blood is in football. So it was a great opportunity for me. So, um, Diane, do you think that football players have improved the, um, their behaviour when playing the game in the last three years? OK, well, I would say yes, since the sin bins uh, arrived, um, because it does, it does give them the opportunity to go and have 10 minutes off the field uh, to calm down. Uh, but saying that, since we returned to football in April, um, it has become a little bit of a problem. Uh, players are giving referees um, quite a bit of abuse. Um, I'm not sure whether it's because they've had such a long layoff and they're very excited just to get back to playing and, and then they forget uh, the respect rules. But uh, yeah, it, over, overall, I would say yes. Um, so how, in your opinion, how is Hereford FA youth focused? OK, well, I think... From my point of view, because I'm also involved as secretary in the junior, the boys junior league, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, I, I can see see it from both sides. So as, as the junior football secretary, uh, we, we sort of have like 2000 uh, players registered every year. So mm -hmm. um, the foundations of everything we do in the league is regarding safeguarding and welfare of the children, just to make sure that they play in a safe environment. Um, and obviously we're, we're set up with all the respect campaigns, so everybody has to adhere to all the codes of conduct that the FA send out. What can the Herefordshire FAU Council do to promote good behaviour in youth football in the county? OK, well, I, well, I think in the past years, um, the Youth Council, uh, I won't say being hit and miss because that's not quite <laughs> right. But I do believe I do believe now, um, obviously, that, that you're, you're going um, a long way to getting this back on the road. So I, I believe that if you could get involved in, uh, well, I'm going to say the Junior League because I don't know anything about the Girls League, um, involved in going watching games, get involved in our tournaments, cup finals. So you then could see how we operate. Then you then could promote that you've been to the, the arranged things from the Junior yeah. League and see how we operate. And then you could make your own mind up and focus on that. Is discipline a big issue in youth football across the county? OK, as I said before, I think since the sin bins, all players um, have started to behave themselves. But um, we tend not to see too much bad behaviour in youth football. Um, but saying that again, in the last two to three weeks, we have seen a lot of bad behaviour from coaches, not so much um, the players themselves, but coaches and parents. Uh, parents get a little bit overexcited um, on the touchline and they forget where they are and, and tend to be very, very vocal. Um, so this is the penultimate um, question. Have you watched our podcast series? If you have, what was your favourite episode and why? OK, well, I'm going to have to be very afraid to say I haven't, which I apologise for. Um, but I'm, I was talking to Scott and we're going to make every effort to to watch them. Um, since we've been back from um, from the lockdown, we've been so busy with fixtures and trying to arrange cup finals. And my time is taken up. But I will promise you, I, I will have a look. We will hold you to that, Diana. Yeah, we'll no problem. And, and, I'll, and I'll hold you to come in to uh, have a bit more involvement oh. with the Junior League. We will right. definitely. Right, nice, nice, easy question. 
<laughs> that's nothing too serious. We've asked everyone this. Um, we heard that the Herefordshire FA team are an awesome, amazing people. <laughs> but, but when you're all feeling down, who's that one member of staff that brings the smiles and the laughter to the group? <laughs> Well, I, I'm sure you're going to be wanting me or, or thinking I'm going to be saying there's only one at Scott Russell. But <laughs> um, what I will say, the team here are brilliant. It doesn't matter how you're feeling, what you're doing, what help you want. They are all immense. They all will go out of their way and they're second to none to help you. So that was the latest episode of the um, sit down with Team HFA. And this episode will be going on YouTube um, on the HFA YouTube channel in the next couple of weeks. And thank you so much, Diane, for taking the time out to come and have a chat with us today. OK, thank you very much. Thank you. Speak to you, speak to you soon. Thank you.